for me, this week is this week is going to be it. Come m- midnight Friday. This is our. This is for me. This is the Republican. Do we have any kind of a movement here left? Four of the twelve appropriations bills run out Friday night, end of this week, and um, there is no issue that is more razor sharp right now at this moment. When it matters, at the time it matters right now in the American people's eyes, then their understanding of the invasion at the southern border, their understanding of the current president and his mental capacity and his mental state and his enabling of the invasion of this country, that is as razor sharp in the public's eyes as it has ever been. The Republicans will never have a stronger issue with a weaker president to argue that issue to the American people and have a shutdown battle with than they have right now, ever. And they will never have a more critical time to have that fight, to focus on the issue at hand the right issues, to focus on the right strategies and to focus on the right messaging and the things they can do to draw attention to their points and to their place and to what we actually are going to stand behind than we have right now with what's in the news and with the border issue. So this week's going to tell us a lot. If you ever were looking for uh, something to tie all your messaging together uh, based on current events to harness the rallying cry for the Republicans uh, to message all of this, this unspeakable tragedy that has happened in Georgia um, would, be, would be one of those things. And, and as much as it's unspeakable and your heart breaks... I almost feel like we, the Republicans have an, a damn obligation to continue to draw attention to it and to use it in their messaging because that's what this is about. This is the kind of stuff that's happening under Democrat rule, under the rule of Joe Biden, unspeakable tragedies like this one and others and a lot that we probably don't even know about. The murder of this poor girl, Lake and Riley. And if that's not a rallying cry for this damn party to, to finally grow a set and, and, and have this fight, I don't know what is. I mean, the timing of this is just unreal. When you look at, we've been talking about what's the messaging going to be? What are we going to get behind and stand behind for months? And here you have this horrific story. I don't know what other opportunity the Republicans are messaging they would want to have something unifying to get behind. This poor family sends their daughter off to college. Could be any one of us, any one of us, with a college-age freshman. Send them off. She makes the dean's list. She sounds like a, just a unbelievable young woman. Dead. Bludgeoned to death because she went out for a run. And don't even get me started on the AP. We don't have time to get into their their positioning of this story, which was sick. And here's this poor girl now dead, murdered from a foreign invader into the country that Joe Biden led in catch and release in 22. You have, you have a sanctuary country under Joe Biden. Then he was sent to a, a sanctuary city in New York where he was arrested and released and then found his way to Georgia. So three times this could have been prevented. Three times. I don't know. I just don't. I don't know what else they could. Um, I don't know what else the Republicans are could could be waiting for or could be asking for to message this correctly. Well, I, I, you know what? Um, I think they're just rating rating for the right number. I I, I that, I'll just throw it at that. Because I don't, mean? I don't have any, I don't have any confidence in them to actually um, do anything truly uh, about this. Why? Because we've been hearing about this for well over a decade. 
2016, family of people killed by undocumented, uh, undocumented immigrants speak out at the RNC. They spoke out at the RNC. What did the RNC do? Nothing about it. Um, you've got, uh, let's see, uh, there's, there's so many headlines. It's like, it's, it's insane. Man, man brutally murdered uh, Di- Daytona Beach couple, 2022, March of 2022. Citizen of Haiti and an Ill- illegal immigrant was taken into custody for the murder of Terry and Brenda Altman. Well, you have, you have, you have hundreds of these stories. If people knew all how many drunk place. driving exactly. incidents and all these other things happen at the hands of... Uh, of of people who are not not supposed to be here, of course. Yeah, May of May of 2023, suspect in Texas massacre has been deported four times. You have the other girl out there in California, the jogger. Same thing. Yep. Last year. I mean, if you remember the rallying cry the left had around George Floyd, can we just think about that for just a second? Yeah, for a criminal. Well, if the if the Republicans are looking for a rallying cry. On, on an issue that you can't get more right on, a timing that you can't get more right on, messaging that you couldn't find better messaging on. They should name the damn bill after her for crying out loud. Dominic Durden killed by an illegal alien back in July of 2012. It's been going on. Shalia Estes killed 2015, July, Phoenix, Arizona, by an illegal I- I- alien from Russia. Uh, Lennox Lake, six years old, when seriously injured in a car, which was being uh, when he was riding his bike by a drunk driver, who just happened to be an illegal alien. Sarah Root, 21, of Omaha, Nebraska, killed 2016. In January, her SUV was rear-ended by Eswin Maja, an illegal alien from Honduras. Um, these names are just it, – Ron, Ronald De Silva killed uh, while standing with a friend April of 2002 in his driveway. In his driveway. From an illegal alien who'd been previously deported. Tessa Tranchant, 16, killed March 2007, Virginia Beach. I, I understand all of this. And, and we didn't have 12 million people in a, in a year come across the border. And this be such uh, on the front of people's minds, no matter where they stand, no, I, as I, it is this year. I understand that. I just don't want these other names to get lost. Um because, because they're all important, and and the, the, they've all died the same way that Lake 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 and Riley has died because of these 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 BS. Um, you know, oh, bleeding hearts. We have to let illegals in. No, we don't have to let them in. Nobody says we have to let them in. Anybody who sit there, well, I need Congress to. No, Congress has already made laws. You need to enforce those laws. And it's already been proven uh, you do have executive power to stop uh, migration into this country or immigration into this country at any time when you see fit, if you deem it to be a problem or a national security threat. We know this. And the fact that they've added now, they can add the the blood and name of Lake and Riley to their list, it's just, it's infuriating. Because... As soon as this one dies out of the uh, out of the news cycle, there'll be another one, and no, and everybody will, you know, oh my goodness, we have to do something, and nothing will get done because nobody really wants to solve the problem. 